Hello, this is Jacob with EPC, and today I'll be showing you a teardown for the HP ProBook 445G8, although it will also be applicable to the G9 model. The G8 was released in 2021 as a mid-range productivity PC, and I'd rate it as highly repairable. So today, let's show you how. Let's get to it. So to start off with, just five screws on the back panel. They're captured screws, so you don't have to worry about them coming out of the case when you unscrew them. To remove the back panel, you'll simply have to get a bit of leverage from the back side of the case and then pull up. All right. To start, let's remove the battery from the device. That's just four screws. Let's pull these tabs back as to not put too much pressure on the cables themselves. The battery has two tabs on either side. It slips right in there. So you simply have to wedge your way back on both of those and it should come right out. Next up, we're going to remove the drive. It's just one screw. Next step is going to be removing the lid and the LCD panel. So we'll start off with, we'll get this ribbon cable up. There's one flap here. Pull the cable out and then unthread it from the fan. You also need to remove the connectors for the Wi-Fi card. Pull off that little plastic tab. I'd be very careful about these. You need to try and pop them straight off the connectors. If you pull them in any horizontal fashion, you could end up damaging the connectors. Now it's just five screws to remove the lid and the panel. Now to get the lid off itself, you're going to have to open the model itself. Keep the lid down. Make sure you apply consistent pressure across both hinges until it's open most of the way. And you just have to pull it back a little bit and pull straight up. And it will come right off. Set that to the side. Now we're going to focus on getting the board itself out. First step will be taking out the fan. That's just three screws. The fan can be taken off. Make sure you take off the connector, similar way to the battery connector is. Don't put too much pressure on the cable itself while pulling it out. Going to remove this daughter board here, two ribbon cables, and then three screws, two of which hold down the connector for the NIC port. Same as the connectors for the display, you just simply raise that flap. And then pull the cable out. These cables will be adhered to the case. So you'll need to gently pull up from the adhesive. Without putting too much pressure on them. So you don't end up damaging the connectors that are connected to the board. Let's remove this 
cage from the left side of the board now. It's another three screws. We also have the power connector here. It's another one of these that you can simply just push it right out. And then one screw in the top. We've got the seamless battery here. Just gotta pull that up. And then another connector right here. It's rather small, you just need to rock it back and forth and it will come out. We have three more ribbon cables holding the board down, the keyboard and the touchpad. Remove those, same as the ones from before. I like to use the screwdriver to get behind it and give me leverage to pull the cable straight out. Now the board itself is held in by two screws, one here and one here. And now the last thing holding in the board is going to be this connector for the speaker right here. Now it's difficult to get it up while the board is fully seated because it is almost flush. So you need to raise the board just a small amount. Simply pull the board up just enough to get your hand underneath. And then you can use your nails to pull that connector out. And then the, and then the board itself just comes up and then pull it away. Now we're almost done with the full disassembly, but we still have a few pieces left. One of them being the speaker bar right up here, held down by a single screw. And that just pulls straight up and then out of its small pocket right there. We have a optional connector for a fingerprint reader. Let's just disassemble that. It's just one screw. The cage comes away. And in this case, there's a little plastic spacer. It just pulls out. You just push it from the other side. And lastly, we have the touchpad down here. It's held in by six screws, four of them being these large ones, two of them being these extremely small ones. Let's start with these large screws. Half of them are going to be covered by this small plastic film that's used to separate the board itself from the aluminum backing. Just lift that up. And then we have these two extremely small screws, the top and bottom. And now the only thing holding it in is going to be small pieces of tape. But you can just pull it up. And those will come right off. Alright, and that's how you tear down a ProBook 445, G8, and G9. We here at EPC believe strongly in reducing e-waste and giving devices a second chance. If there's any other devices you'd like to see us tear down, please give us a comment. Thank you, and goodbye.